Hi. Welcome to my page, Goddess Mona. Let's talk about sex. So that's what my channel is about. It's about everything sensual. And the number one question I'm getting from my ladies who I teach um, fellatio classes to is how to stop the gagging reflex, right? So there's a technique that I use that I learned some time back that worked for me. I kind of stumbled up on it and I want to share with you. And because I do massages, I know about the pressure points in the body. There's a pressure point inside of the hand. And it's just the left hand that's going to help you. What you're going to do is you're going to take the thumb and fold it in. Take the fingers over the thumb. Crazy as it sounds, this is going to help you because the pressure point that you're, you're attacking here, that you have inside the thumb, it's going to stop the gag and reflex. So that's something that I have my ladies do, and I can tell you one thing, that it absolutely works. It worked for me because I want to try it, because I want to make sure I give my lover the best experience by not gagging. Gagging is good because it actually makes the mouth a lot wetter, so that's not a bad thing. You always want to start with a wet mouth anyway, and you always want to make sure you end and finish. Everything has to be wet, so I want to go over some techniques that I have um, for some of my ladies that I'm actually writing a book right now, and I'm getting just jotting down all my techniques that I do inside of one location since I get so many requests and so many questions every day. And thank you so much for your request. You can always call me. I'm here in Houston, Southwest Houston. I have lots of clients all over the world, so I do private videos for people who can't actually come to Houston. So if you have a video or stuff that you want to touch on and you don't see a video out there and you want to get one-on-one -on -one instruction from a sexologist, a sex expert, which is what I am, and I'm licensed in this here in Houston, and I do travel around the world. I do seminars and one-on-one -on -one private sessions with couples who hire me to come to their city or to their home here in Houston and teach them tantric sex, which I do. So I'm going to go over some of the techniques that I have here, and I wrote them down so I will not forget anything. Okay, so the first one, um, when you're giving a blowjob, these are all fellatio uh, techniques for a woman to learn to do. Um, is The first one is called a face screw where you actually can be laying on your back. You can be in any kind of position you want. You can be sideways, uh, or laying on your side with your partners right in front of you. That way you can do it. And the uh, number one question, too, I get is how to do it, how to make them come fast, five minutes or less, okay? And I have a technique for that. And uh, you can also, how to keep your mouth from getting tired. The first thing to do to keep them from getting tired <coughs> is to do it regularly. Okay, and I know the guys are like, yeah, do it every day, yes. So you don't have to do it every day, but you do want to do it regularly because it's good for your chin, it's good for your face, it keeps the muscles tight, okay, and it keeps your chin very tight, and you're doing it on a regular basis, so it's a good thing, it's a great thing. So you're doing something good for you, you're doing, doing something good for your partner. So besides the number one, it's a face school, the next thing is humming. You always want to make sure that you're humming a wonderful romantic song. There's nothing like having a wet mouth on you and you're humming to it at the same time. So it's like a vibrator, right? So that humming is number two. And then the number three is hot and cold. So your mouth is the hot part. The cold part can be some frozen fruit. You can get frozen strawberries or frozen mango. And you want to make sure you put it in your mouth first and let it warm up and soften up. So you got something cold. That's going to be the cold factor. So you want to make sure it's not small pieces. You want to make sure they're a little uh, on the medium side, maybe the size of your thumb, right? So that they sit on your tongue and you can actually rub it around the corona of the, the penis, which is right around the head of it. You can just put it on your tongue and rub it around it, and it's cold and it feels amazing, right? So that's number three. Number four is called the jackhammer. This is where you actually, the female, you actually sit on the floor and you actually have them stand over you and actually put it down in your mouth. That's the jackhammer. You know, they kind of squatting over you. And it's amazing because this can grip the balls, the testicles, and you can hold on to them at the same time. You can pair, play with the perineum at the same time while you're holding them and you're going down on it at the same time, which feels wonderful and you're humming. So you got quite a few things going at the same time, but it's still. It's fun. You just want to try what you like and try what the partner likes. Right? So that's number four. The next one is the mango. You're going to have a mango. You're going to squeeze it, rub it across the counter first and get it all juicy. And then you're going to make sure it's room temperature. You don't want to microwave it or put it. You can put it in some warm water, but do not stick it in the microwave or on the stove or anything like that to make it too hot 
you basically want a room temperature, maybe a little warm, okay, for your partner. And then maybe one cold, so you can give them a hot and cold sensation again. You want to make sure that you cut at the side of your tongue. So you know how you take a mango and you peel the skin out first and you slice it? You want to make sure you slice it the flat way so that you get it to be about this wide, the wide of your finger, so it sits on your tongue. So when you're actually licking the head of it, of the penis, right, where the cologne is, right there, you want to be licking that real softly with that mango on there at the same time, and it feels amazing, and it tastes great, okay? So, um, you also want to do the double fist, which is when you're going down on your partner, you're actually going to be taking your hands and twisting down. You go down, squeeze, twist. You go up, squeeze, twist. Down, squeeze, twist. Up, squeeze the head, twist it, back down again. You're doing that with both hands. So you're coming down, you're squeezing. I'm using a bottle because I had some other videos with some props and then took it off, so I'm using a bottle. Anyway, we have to use what we have. So the double fist, your hands come down, up, down. That's the double fist. Okay? Then there's a grapefruit technique where you actually take a grapefruit, you cut each end of where the little point is where the mango head. Cut it off. First you want to start with rubbing it on the counter. Make sure it's all juicy first. Get it all juicy. You also want to make sure that it's room temperature. Okay? It's not cold. And you can sit in a bowl of warm water. Let it warm up. Or make sure it's just room temperature. Whatever you like. So once you do that, you cut it off. Both ends. And then you're going to actually cut a circle in the middle of it. Right? The size of the man's penis. So that it goes in. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to take it and hold it in your hand and put it over your man's penis. So let me show you what that would look like. You put it over, you twist it, you're going to do the same motion before. You put the tip, you put the grapefruit over, you twist it, you're coming up and down while you're sucking on it at the same time. And what a great sensation for him because you're losing weight. Grapefruit is a great fat burner and it actually feels like he's actually making love and receiving head at the same time. Which is an amazing sensation for a man, I can tell you. That's what my man said. So, there you go. And then we have the doctor and the corkscrew. <laughs> now, a lot of men do not appreciate a prostate massage, but it's wonderful for you. Once you become 40 and over, you have to get a check by the doctor. And what better way after that to make sure that it's maintained than to have the lady with a glove on, a whole glove on, and she's only going to use one finger. And you're actually going to be, here's the anus right here. You're going to just be going around it with your finger. You're going to have to have a glove for this part because this is going to go around where the nerves are. The nerves, there's a lot of nerves around the outside of it that you don't even have to penetrate the inside. But once you do, this is your favorite. Anyway, you just go around the outside, you're rubbing it in a circle, you're rubbing it in a circle while you're doing, while you're giving the blows up at the same time and you're cupping the ball. You don't take that finger and just go around the nerve of the anus on the outside. And it's like, see, even that feels amazing. My hands are tingling. So there are nerves around there that feels amazing. And you can actually do a come here motion up. Your finger's going to go up towards it. And you're going to go up like this. Right? In a circle. In a circle. And you're going up. Right? If you go inside and he actually allows you to go inside, you don't just start going in and pushing in like that. You go in softly, you go in with a circle, and you just allow the hand to push you in because once it's going in, the anus naturally will suck it inside if you just do it really soft and slow. So I hope that covers a lot. I'm getting a lot of questions, and those were a lot of techniques that I like, wanted to know. So number one was a face screw. Number two is humming. You want to make sure you hum. That's very important. You can have a nice little ditty, whatever. Number three is the hot and cold. Number four is the jackhammer, right? Number five is the mango screw, okay? Number six is the double fist. Number seven is the grapefruit. And number eight was the doctor and the corkscrew, okay? And then number nine, which was actually number one, was gaggy. You want to make sure again, we're going to review this. Tuck your hand in, tuck it over, 
while you're doing it, you can still use one hand. Remember, it's the left hand that you do it with. If you try it with the right hand, it does not work. It has to be the left hand. Tuck in, tuck over, go ahead and do your business either way, however you want to do it. Okay, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please subscribe. Subscribe right down there. GoddessSimona.info is the website. You can go there and check out the classes that I offer. I offer live classes here in Houston, private one on ones. I'll come out to you. You can come to my spa. I actually have a location. I have props that I use. And men, I did not leave you out. I have a tool called a flashlight. It's the shape of a woman's vagina. And it actually, I teach my clients how to do fellatio on a woman, how to go inside, how to make a squirt with your fingers using the come here. All right? You get inside of there using your thumb to activate the clitoris, using your finger inside, and you're doing both of them at the same time. And you can have her have uh, a squirting sensation that she's probably never had before because most women do not squirt, so I do teach men that. Anyway, goddessmona.info. My website here is a YouTube slash Goddess Mona. You can follow me at Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Google me. Just anything you put in Goddess Mona and you're going to find me on Pinterest, um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can Goddess Mona me at, at Facebook. And um, I will we'll get to your request one at a time. However, I do videos for private, uh, for private sessions. You know, people want to know how to do a breast job, how to take... Uh, your man's penis and give him a blowjob and a breast job at the same time. That's one of my second best sellers that I do besides my fellatio class. So that was a mouthful. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I'm looking forward um, to meeting you all. Like I said, if you are afraid to come in or oh, you can't come in and you need a private video, I'll do a private video just for you and I send it to you. I do them all the time for clients who can't come to me. So again, namaste. Thank you so much for tuning in to my website, uh, to my page, and um, keep the comments coming, comment, 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 give me all the questions that you have, I will answer them one at a time, I will work with you, I also do what's called a goddess reading, I have goddess cards here, and I wanted to share those because I've been doing a lot of readings for people, and these cards are very accurate, they are 100% accurate, they work for me all the time, so they're called goddess cards, if you can see that here. Each card has her own priestess on the outside of it. And it also gives, I also have a book that I read it from that will tell me everything about that card. So what I do is I do a meditation with you. We clear the air, we clear the energy. And then I ask you to tell me what it is you're most pressing about. What is it that your question? What do you want to know about love? Is it coming? Will you ever find it? find the right job, or you find the right person, you know what it is, and I will redo a reading for you, and I tell you, the cards are 100% accurate, so if you want to come in and get a reading, I do them for myself on a regular basis, I do them for my clients, I do them for my family, there are different cards that will tell you exactly what's going on in your life, and they're very accurate, so call me, 832-888-4321, I look forward to meeting you, and of course I do therapy massages, exotic massages, I do elite VIP pampering for men only, and I do women too, but I have a specific um, uh, type of thing that I do for my clients that are men who they don't get pampering at all, they come to Goddess Mall and I do the whole massage, I do the temples, the head, all the way down to the feet, I do hot stones, I give them a massage, I do the whole thing for them so they feel like a superstar when they leave, and they do not leave the same way they came in. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I do bridal parties and bridal showers for brides. I have a book coming out called Bride's Guide to Everything Sensual. So the women have a place to go. They have a guide to actually go to. So thank you, goddessmona.info, www.goddessmona.info. Thank you, namaste, and have an amazing day. Peace, light, and wealth, and love. Bye.